Welcome back to my channel. This is Naja here, the head bacon in charge of the Bacon Bit Squad. Thank you guys so much for coming back, returning Bacon Bit Squad members, as well as all of the new subbies that have come over to the channel. I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of a budget setup for January, and this involves my online accounts as well as my sinking funds that I have. So a lot of these things are going to look familiar. Normally what I do is I break out my planner, my planner binder, where I, you know, I do the stickers and the setup and all of those things. But what I've noticed is that it's not really functional for me. So like once I set all that stuff up on camera with the dates and the date days and the time off and all of that I don't look back at it again until the end of the month okay and I don't think that that's really how it's designed how it's supposed to be I mean maybe for some people but for me I'm like it's not working so what I think I'm going to do with that is set it up to where I can start tracking my HSA funds in there as well as my boys and their utma accounts and how much i'm contributing to those and where the money is going for them because they do have stock in tesla microsoft as well as mcdonald's and so i want to start tracking that better to see how much i'm adding into that and so i think that that's what that planner will be used for and maybe i'll just have like the little calendar still on the side if you guys are interested in seeing the setup of that i will certainly share that with you guys but for right now it's like i'm just going to transition to the annual workbook because this is where I put all of the stuff at anyway each month so the first category that we have here and that you normally see in the other planner that I set up is the mind binder self-care and some of the categories that we have is personal clothing self-care and my business binder now I actually forgot to put the information in here so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in right now so personal clothing, both get $20. The self-care binder, I need to see how many categories I have in there as well as the business binder because those actually get a little bit more because they are broken down into specific categories. I have what I have planned here and then the actual I'll put over there at the end of the month. Next, moving over here, we have savings. I keep my savings in a high yield savings account, which is Marcus Golden Sachs. Normally I will have a set amount that goes in from my paycheck, as well as I have some other funds that go in there. I always add in the interest, which the interest has been really good lately. It's been about 40 to $50 per month. And they just raised up the interest rates again to 4.50. So I'm trying to take advantage of that as much as I can. My vacation fund is also in a high yield savings account with Marcus Goldman Sachs as well, so I can get some extra funds for that. Um, so I don't disclose how much that I add to my savings because I do like to keep some things private. Next, we have online accounts. These are the ones that I just keep readily available to me. We've got the vehicle maintenance, which is I add $150 to that. Guess lead. I'm not sure how much I'm adding to that for the month of January uh, because I may have some funds left over from December. I'm filming this video quite early, as a matter of fact. This video is being filmed December 22nd, and so I won't know until the end of the month occurs and happens. I did fill up today, so we'll see how much I have left over in that fund. Uh, HSA account, I do add in $30 to that. Gym membership, that's $30. And then subscriptions, $20. I think this may actually bump up. Next over here, we have the investing plan, and that is the TRS, which is my teacher retirement system account. I don't ever know how much is coming out of that until the money comes out. Uh, because I don't know how much my income is per month. Vanguard, $750. My plan is to max out my Roth IRA again this year. The max that you can contribute is $7,000. Then we have Robinhood, going to contribute $300 to that. Fundrise, $10. And Fidelity, I do want to start contributing to this again as just like a regular bridge brokerage account, but I need to figure out how much I'm going to desk for this. Moving down, we have events and activities. We have summer, $20. 
spring $20 Christmas $50 because we know that comes around every year summer camp $20 I need to verify and make sure that my son actually wants to go to summer camp again in the summer of 2024 fun that's $20 dining out that's $100 birthdays $100 gifts slash giving is $20 normally I give more than this and so it comes norm from my buffer account whenever I give extra I do have some money in the envelope then we have for my boys we've got child care $20 don't ever really like need that anymore because both of my kids are um, in school and now that the oldest one is a little bit older he normally watches little brother while I'm gone to work if they're not at school and I just regularly check up, check in on them chores $20 clutch $20 KD $20 and this just goes into their binders for for their envelopes for whatever it is that they need and that money just accumulates school $40 not for my school but for anything that school related for them to include teacher gifts donations all of that all of that for the school tutoring twenty dollars just in case if my son needs again last year i had a tutor for him someone that i know she lives like right around the corner from me and we worked at the same school so she was able to tutor him and so you know i just paid her for the week and she came two three times out of the week and for about an hour or so sports twenty dollars because you guys know i'm a whole track mom out here so track season is almost upon us okay it's almost upon us it will be in february so last year their season was from february to may i plan on going to some meets and some of the meets you have to pay for so i want to make sure that i have enough money stashed away i've been stashing money away in this for just about a year now uh, so back to school that's when i have to start the back to school shopping for them that's twenty dollars that's being added there Next, move down to home. We have household that's going to get $20. Home maintenance will get $20. Groceries will get $300. I still have money left over from December. Furniture, $100. And the forever fund. The forever fund is the emergency fund. I call it forever fund because you will forever be funding it. Okay, like there's no stopping the forever fund so i will be contributing more to that now one thing that i didn't add in that i'm thinking about is savings challenges i didn't add that in but let me go ahead and put that i don't even know where i would put that i'm just going to put savings challenges because i do plan on starting up some savings challenges again didn't do any last year and didn't do any the year before so some savings challenges besides saving my coins. So if you happen to enjoy this semi budget setup for January and seeing the breakdown of it besides just like the broad categories that I was normally having in that red binder, please make sure that you go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure that you leave me a comment below. Let me know, are you switching up anything for 2024 regarding the budget that maybe you weren't doing for 2023 or something that you want to add on to it leave that down below in the comment section and i will talk with you guys later bye